May 27, 1 Kings 1, 1 to 2, 46. Now King David was old, advanced in years, and they put covers on him, but he could not get warm. Therefore his, his servants said to him, Let a young woman, a virgin, be sought for our lord the king, and let her stand before the king, and let her care for him, and let her lie in your bosom that our lord the king may be warm so they sought for a lovely young woman throughout all the territory of israel and found abishag the shunammite and brought to and brought her to the king the young woman was very lovely and she cared for the king and served him but the king did not know her then adonai ha the son of haggith exalted himself saying i will be king and he prepared for himself chariots and horsemen and fifty men to to run before him and his father had not rebuked him at any time by saying why would you don so he was also very good looking his mother had borne him after absalom then he conferred with Joab, the son of Zeruiah, and with Abiathar, the priest, and they followed and helped Adonai. But Zadok, the priest, Beniah, the son of Je Jehoiada, Nathan, the prophet, Shimei, Rai, and the mighty men who belonged to David were not with Adonai. And Adonai has sacrificed sheep and oxen and fattened cattle by the stone of Zoheleth, which is by Enrogil. -ro he also invited all his brothers, the king's sons, and all the men of Judah, the king's servants. But he did not invite Nathan the prophet, Beniah, the mighty man, or Solomon, his brother. So Nathan, sm so Nathan spoke to Bathsheba, the mother of Solomon, saying, Have you not heard that Adonai, the son of Haggith, has become king, and David our Lord does not know it? Come, please, let me now give you advice that you may save your own life and the life of your son Solomon. Go immediately to King David and say to him, Did you not, my lord, O king, swear to your maid servant, saying, Assuredly, your son Solomon shall reign after me, and he shall sit on my throne. Why then has Adonai become king? Then while you are still talking there, there with the king, I also will come in after you and confirm your words. So Bathsheba went into the chamber to the king. Now the king was very old, and Abishag the Shunammite was serving the king, and Bathsheba Bathsheba bowed and did homage to the king. Then the king said, What is your wish? Then she said to him, My lord, you swore by the Lord your God to your maidservant, saying, Assuredly, Solomon your son shall reign after me, and he shall sit on my throne. So now, look, Adonai has become king, and now, my lord the king, you do not know about it. He has sacrificed oxen and fattened cattle and sheep in abundance and has invited all the sons of the king, Abiathar the priest and Joab the commander of the army. But Solomon your servant, he has not invited. And as for you, my lord, O king, the eyes of all Israel are on you, but you should tell them, who will sit on the throne of my lord the king after him otherwise it will happen when my lord the king rests with his fathers that i and my son solomon will be counted as offenders and just then while she was still talking with the king nathan the prophet also came in so they told the king saying here is nathan the prophet and when he came in before the king he bowed down before the king with his face to the ground and nathan said my lord o king have you said adonai shall reign after me and he shall sit on my throne for he has gone down today and has sacrificed oxen and fattened cattle 
and sheep in abundance and has invited all the king's sons and the commanders of the army and Abiathar the priest and look they are eating and drinking before him and they say long long live king Adonaiha that he has not invited me me your servant nor Zadok the priest nor Benaiah the son of Jehoiada nor your servant Solomon has this thing been done by my lord the king and you have not told your servant who should sit on the throne of my lord the king after him then david then king david answered and said call Bathsheba to me so she came into the king's presence and stood before the king and the king took an oath and said as the lord lives who has redeemed my life from every distress just as i swore to you by the lord god of israel saying assuredly solomon your son shall be king after me and he shall sit on my throne in my place so i certainly will do this day then Bathsheba bowed with her face to the earth and paid homage to the king and said let my lord king david live forever and king david said Call to me Zadok the priest, Nathan the prophet, and Benaiah the son of Jehoiada. So they came before the king. The king also said to them, Take with you the servants of your lord, and have Solomon my son ride on your own mule, and take him down to Gihon. There let Zadok the priest and Nathan the prophet anoint him king over Israel, and blow the horn, and say, Long live King Solomon. Then you shall come up after him, and he shall come and sit on my throne, and he shall be king in my place, for I have appointed him to be ruler over Israel and Judah. Benaiah the son of Jehoiada answered the king and said, Amen. May the Lord God of my lord the king say so too. As the Lord has been with my lord the king, even so may he be with solomon and make his throne greater than the throne of my lord king david so Z- so zadok the priest nathan the prophet benaiah the son of jeriada the cherethites and the pelethites went down and had solomon ride on king david's mule and took him to gihon then zadok the priest took a horn of oil from the tabernacle and anointed solomon and they blew the horn and all the people said long live king solomon and all the people went up after him and the people played the fruits and rejoiced with great joy so that the earth seemed to split with their sound now adonai and all the guests who were with him heard it as they finished eating and the and when joab heard the sound of the horn he said why is the city in such a noisy uproar? While he was still speaking, there came Jonathan, the son of Abiathar the priest. And Adonai has said to him, Come in, for you are a prominent man, and bring good news. Then Jonathan answered and said to Adonai, No, our lord King David has made Solomon king. The king has sent with him Zadok the priest, Nathan the prophet, Benaiah the son of Jehoiada, the Cherethites and the Pelethites, and they have made him ride on the king's mule. So Zadok the priest and Nathan the prophet have anointed him king at Gihon. And they have gone up from their rejoicing, so that the city is in an uproar. This is the noise that you have heard. Also Solomon sits on the throne of the kingdom, and moreover the king's servants have gone to bless our lord king david saying may god make the name of solomon better than your name and may he make his throne greater than your throne then the king bowed himself on the bed also the king said thus bless blessed be the lord god of israel who has given the one to sit on my throne this day while my eyes see it so all the guests who were with adonai were afraid and arose and each one went his way now adonai was afraid of solomon so he arose and went and took hold of the horns of the altar and it was told solomon saying indeed adonai is afraid of king solomon for look 
he was taken hold of the horns of the altar, saying, Let King Solomon swear to me today that he will not put his servant to death with a sword. Then Solomon said, If he proves himself a worthy man, not one hair of him shall fall to the earth. But if wickedness is found in him, he shall die. So King Solomon sent them to bring him down from the altar, and he came and fell down before King Solomon. And Solomon said to him, Go to your house. Now the days of David drew near that he should die, and, the, and he charged Solomon his son, saying, I go the way of all the earth. Be strong, therefore, and prove yourself a man, and keep the charge of the Lord your God to walk in his ways, to keep his statutes, his commandments, his judgments, and his testimonies, as it is written in the law of Moses, that you may prosper in all that you do. And wherever you turn, that the Lord may fulfill his word with which he spoke concerning me, saying, If your sons take heed to their way, to walk before me in truth with all their heart and with all their soul, he said, You shall not lack a man on the throne of Israel. Moreover, you know also what Joab the son of Jeroiah did to me, and what he did to the two commanders of the armies of Israel, to Abner the son of Ner, and Amasa the son of Jether, whom he killed, and she shed, and he shed the blood of war in peacetime, and put the blood of war on his belt that was around his waist, and on his sandals that were that were on his feet. Therefore, do according to your wisdom, and do not let his gray hair go down to the grave in peace, but show kindness to your sons of Barzillai and Barzillai the Gileadite, and let them be among those who eat at your table for so they came to me when i fled from absalom your brother and see you have with shimei the son of jera a benjamite from bahurim who cursed me with a malicious curse in the day when i went to mahanaim but he came down to meet me at the jordan and i swore to him by the lord saying i will not put you to death with a sword. Now therefore, do not hold him guiltless, for you are a wise man and know what you ought to do to him, but bring his gray hair down to the grave with blood. So David rested with his fathers and was buried in the city of David. The period that David reigned over Israel was forty years. Seven years he reigned in Hebron, and in Jerusalem he reigned thirty three years. Then Solomon sat on the throne of his father David, and his kingdom was firmly established. Now Adonai, the son of Haggith, came to Bathsheba, the mother of Solomon. So she said, Do you, do you come peaceably? And he said, Peaceably. Moreover, he said, I have something to say to you. And she said, Say it. Then he said, You know that the kingdom was mine, and all Israel had set their expectations on me that I should reign. However, the kingdom has been turned over and has become my brother's, for it was his from the Lord. Now I ask one petition of you, do not deny me. And she said to him, Say it. Then he said, Please speak to King Solomon, for he will not refuse you, that he may give me Abishag the Shunammite as wife. So Bathsheba said, Very well, I will speak for you to the king. But Sheba therefore went to King Solomon to speak to him for Adonai. And the king arose and the king rose up to meet her and bowed down to her and sat down on his throne and had a throne set for the king's mother. So she sat at his right hand. Then she said, I desire one small petition of you do not refuse me. And the king said to her, Ask it, my mother, for I will not refuse you. So she said, Let Abishag the Shunammite be given to Adonai, your brother, as wife. And King Solomon answered and said to his mother, Now why do you ask Abishag the Shunammite for Adonai? Ask for him the kingdom also, for he is my older brother for him.
and for Abiathar the priest, and for Joah the son of Jeriah. Then King Solomon swore by the Lord, saying, May God do so to me and more also, if Adonai has not spoken this spoken this word against his own life. Now therefore, as the Lord lives, who has confirmed me and set me on the throne of David, my father, who has established a house for me, as he promised Adonai shall be put to death today. So King Solomon sent by the hand of Benaiah the son of Jehoiada, and he struck him down, and he died. And to Abiathar the priest, the king said, Go to Anathoth, to your own fields, for you are deserving of death. But I will not put you to death at this time, because you carried the ark of the Lord God before my father David, and because you were afflicted every time my father was afflicted. So Solomon removed Abiathar from being priest to the Lord, that he might fulfill the word of the Lord which he spoke concerning the house of Eli at Shiloh. The news came to Joab, for Joab had defected to Adonai, though he had not defected to Absalom. So Joab fled to the tabernacle of the Lord and took hold of the horns of the altar. And King Solomon was told, Joab has fled to the tabernacle of the Lord. There he is by the altar. Then Solomon sent Benaiah the son of Jehoiada, saying, Go strike him down. So Benaiah went to the tabernacle of the Lord and said to him, Thus says the king, Come out. And he said, No, but I will die here. And Benaiah brought back word to the king, saying, Thus said Joab, and thus he answered me. Then the king said to him, Do as he has said, and strike him down and bury him, that you may take away from me and from the house of my father the innocent blood which Joab shed. So the Lord will return his blood on his head, because he struck down two men more righteous and better than he, and killed them with the sword. Abner the son of Nir, the commander of the army of Israel, and Amasa the son of Jether, the commander of the army of Judah, though my father David did not know it, their blood shall therefore return upon the head of Joab and upon the head of his descendants forever. But upon David and his descendants, upon his house and his throne, there shall be peace forever from the Lord. So Benaiah the son of Jehoiada went up and struck and killed him, and he was buried in his own house in the wilderness. The king put Benaiah the son of Jehoiada in his place over the army, and the king put Zadok the priest in the place of Abiathar. Then the king sent and called for Shimei, and said to him, Build yourself a house in Jerusalem and dwell there, and do not go out from there anywhere, for it shall be on the day you go out and cross the brook Kidron. No, for certain you shall surely die. Your blood shall be on your own head. And Shimei said to the king, The saying is good, as my lord the king has said, so your servant will do. So Shimei dwelt in Jerusalem many days. Now it happened at the end of three years that two slaves of Shimei ran away to Achish, the son of Mekah, king of Gath. And they told Shimei, saying, Look, your slaves are in Gath. So Shimei arose, saddled his donkey, donkey, and went to Achish at Gath to seek his slaves. And Shimei went, Shimei went and brought his slaves from Gath. And Solomon was told that Shimei had gone from Jerusalem to Gath and had come back. Then the king sent and called for Shimei and said to him, Did I not make you swear to the Lord and warn you, saying, Know for certain that on the day you go out and travel anywhere, you shall surely die. And you said to me, The word I have heard is good. Why then have you not kept the oath of the Lord and the commandment that I gave you? The king said moreover to Shimei, You know as your heart acknowledges all the wickedness that you did to my father David. Therefore, the Lord will return your wickedness on your own head. The king Solomon shall be blessed, and the throne of David shall be established before the Lord forever. 
So the king commanded Benaiah the son of Uriada, and he went out and struck him down, and he died. Thus the kingdom was established in the hand of Solomon. Psalm 68, 11 to 14. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those who proclaimed it. Kings of armies flee, they flee, and she who remains at home divides the spoil. Though you lie down among the sheepfolds, the sheepfolds, you will be like the wings of a dove covered with silver, and her feathers with yellow gold, with the almighty scattered kings in it. It was white as snow in, Sal- in Zalman. Proverbs 17, 7 to 9. Excellent speech is not becoming to a fool, much less lying lips to a prince. A present is a precious stone in the eyes of its possessor. Wherever he turns, he prospers. He who covers a transgression seeks love, but he or he who repeats a matter separates friends. John 9, 24-41 So they again called the man who was blind and said to him, Give God the glory. He know that this man is a sinner. He answered and said, Whether he is a sinner or not, I do not know. One thing I know, that though I was blind, now I see. Then they said to him again, What did he do to you? How did he open your eyes? He answered them, I told you already, and you did not listen. Why do you want to hear it again? Do you also want to become his disciples? Then they reviled him and said, You are his disciple. But we are Moses' disciples. We know that God spoke to Moses as for, as for this fellow. We do not know where he is from. The man answered and said from them, Why this Why this is a marvelous thing that you do not know where he is from, yet he has opened my eyes. Now we know that God does not hear sinners, but if anyone is a worshiper of God and does his will, he hears him. Since the world began, it has been unheard that anyone opened the eyes of one who was born blind. If this man were not from God, he could do nothing. They answered and said to him, You were completely born in sins, and are you teaching us? And they cast him out. Jesus heard that they had cast him out, and when he had found him, he said to him, Do you believe in the Son of God? He answered and said, Who is he, Lord, that I may believe in him? And Jesus said to him, You have both seen him, and it is he who is talking with you. Then he said, Lord, I believe, and he worshipped him. And Jesus said, For judgment I have come into this world, that those who do not see may see, and that those who see may be made blind. Then some of the Pharisees who were with him heard these words and said to him, Are we blind also? Jesus said to them, If you were blind, you would have no sin. But now you say, we see therefore your sin remains amen and amen thank you heavenly father lord jesus and holy spirit for your goodness and your faithfulness god hallelujah i praise you lord i lift your name on high O god you are great O lord you're amazing you are wonderful god Thank you, Lord, for your word, O oh God, and your word is true, Lord. Thank you, God, that it is your word, God, is sharper than any two-edged 
sword, O Lord, that it can penetrate in the deepest part of our hearts, O God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for the gift, the free gift of salvation, O Lord. Thank you for your blood shed on the cross. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for your love. Thank you, Lord, for conviction, O Lord. And I pray, God, that you continue, God, to open our eyes, O Lord, for your truth, O God. Hallelujah. Give us the desire, Lord, to to love you even more, God, because you deserve, O Lord, all the love that we have in this world, O God. Thank you, God, for saving us. Thank you for coming into this world to die for us. Hallelujah. You deserve, O God, all the praises, glory, admiration, honor. You are the King of kings, God of all gods, Lord of all lords, my personal Savior. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen and amen.